friends. Here we are, star scorecard, cheat code 5.2b. All right, so what is 5.2b? We have to compare decimals. Simple as that. You have to be able to know, is it greater than, is it less than, or is it equal to? So you're gonna get lists of decimals. You have to be able to put them in order from least to greatest. How do we do this? I want you to stack the decimal, okay? Always stack the decimal. Two and 20 thousandths, right? Check this out. So we'll just stack the decimal. Decimals are in line, two and one, two. Oh, look, two digits instead of three. Well, let's just add a zero. Is 20 bigger or is 120? 120. Two and zero, three, two. 120 is bigger than 32. 32 is bigger than 20. Okay? And then 2 and 200 or 21. Oh, but let's add a zero. 210. So that's it. Right? So when you stack them, now it's easier to compare which number is the biggest, which number is the smallest, which decimal. Order these decimals from least to greatest. Okay, so... 0, 20, this is least to greatest. So this is 1. 32 is number 2. 120, 3, and then 4. That's ordered from least to greatest. So, here we go. What kind of vocab do you need for cheat code 5.2b? Less than, equal to, greater than. You have to know these symbols. Imperative. You have to know. And then greatest to least, least to greatest. Are you getting smallest to biggest, biggest to smallest? That's what those mean. And then inequality means unequal. It means unequal, right? Unequal. <laughs> so there you go. Into the practice problems. All right, try and keep these videos quick. Remember, you can pause, solve the problem, and then check your answer with the video. Press play. The table shows the time in seconds it took for four swimmers to complete a race. Which inequality correctly compares to of, the, of these race times? All right, so let's stack them. 26.5 is greater than 26.05. Okay, yeah, look, 50 is bigger than 5. So that's correct. So that is check, right? Ah, oh, that's our answer. That's our answer. It's There's only going to be one correct. Let's stack this one to make sure. 26.15, 26.5, 26.50. Do we see 15 is smaller than 50? So that is wrong. 10 is bigger than 5, right? Do you see how 10 is bigger than 5? 15 is bigger than one, then 10. So this is wrong, wrong, wrong. A is our answer. Number two. Stacking the decimals is always going to help. It might seem redundant. It might seem a little bit too simple. No, no, no. Stack the decimals and be sure. Make sure you write on the paper. Joshua compared the values of these decimals. Okay. Which statement is correctly compares two of these numbers? So we need to stack them. All right, 0.60, because I can always add a zero at the end of a decimal, and then 0 0.06. Um, we're looking for the correct answer, okay? So 6 is less than 60, so it should be this. So F is wrong. 6 thousandths, 0, 0, 006, and then... Six zero zero six hundred is bigger than six. Okay, so it should be here. G is wrong. Point six zero, right? Because we can add a zero, and point zero six. Those do not equal. So those are not equal. So H is wrong. J is correct. Point zero six zero. Point zero six. Oh yeah, I can add an and I can add a decimal. I can add a zero. That is correct. Alright. Last question on this video. Last question on this video. Number three. Books in a library 
are arranged by their Dewey Decimal. That's, this is called a Dewey Decimal. Vocab doesn't matter. The Dewey Decimal numbers are uh, for five books are shown in the picture. Lana will put these five books in order from least number to greatest number. Which book will be in the fourth position? So you have to put them all in order. All right, so let me show you. 17 and 17. 18 and 18 and then 19. So we know that 419 is the at the end. 419.018. And we know that the two 17s are in the front. Right? 417, 417. So that's one, two, three places. So we are missing, so this is number five, four, three, two, one. And the question asks, which book will be in the fourth position? So you can see how already I have knocked out and I've simplified the answer or the problem. I have to, we have to compare 418 and 418. So let's do that. Which one is bigger? We have point. Five, three, seven, and point six, three, zero. Six hundred thirty is bigger than five hundred thirty-seven. Right? So six hundred thirty is in the fourth position. Our answer is D. So, guys, this is the video. We'll do a second video on 5.2b, finish up all the rest of these practice problems. Let me know if you have any questions. Have a great day.